Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel I wholeheartedly welcome you to Eat to Live Strong. Today is Wonderful Wednesday. It is May 4th, 2022 and it is day 122 of Multiple Sclerosis, my daily diary. It is raw uncut footage which means I do not edit the videos. Whatever I say it sticks and that is from the heart my interactions dealing with multiple sclerosis daily. I may forget a word, how to say a word, how to put a sentence together and that is all due to um, some testing that came up to show that I had multiple lesions on the brain and multiple lesions on the spine and a host of other symptoms and items that was going wrong which led to a final diagnosis of multiple sclerosis but it don't have me guys i'm going to go ahead and get in where we fit in by giving thanks to the man upstairs heavenly father i come before the throne today to say thank you for waking each and every one of us up this morning thank you for the continued blessings you lay upon each and every one of us and our health and wealth and much much more Thank you, Lord, for continuously giving us opportunities to make good on something that we did not make good on the day before or prior to. Thank you, Lord, for things that are resonating with my followers and myself and everything that goes on on Eat to Live Strong. Thank you, Lord, for continuously opening my heart and pouring into my soul the things that I need to say each and every day on my channel. Lord, please know there is many of us on this channel or in the atmosphere that is in need of healing. And for that, I thank you for the healing from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. Thank you for my family, my friends, my followers, and myself. And with all these things we're asking and praying for, and again for a beautiful day, in the mighty name of Jesus, we're praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. And the word has been spoken. It is storming out this morning. Um, I don't know if you can hear the rain in the back. You may hear some... God is doing his thing this morning. Um... It started last night probably about 1 a.m. or this morning, 1 a.m. this morning and um, thunder and lightning. And this is really good resting time, but I could not sleep. I stayed up. When I finally went off to sleep, it was probably about 4 o'clock. And then I had to be up at 6 o'clock this morning to, um, to care for the family so that they can get off to go to work. And I prayed. I pray to the Lord because I pray my family in and out of the house that they're they're safe and that they come back safe and to take control of the wheel, Lord. So um, today is my hair day and with the storm and everything, I may actually have her to pin me up. I don't know because I don't know if the rain is going to go all the way through today. But since I've been using Monate, my curls last longer anyway. Um, and... But I'm thankful that I woke up this morning um, for the two hours or however many hours I, I did finally sleep. I am, I woke up this morning with the two hours that I slept because I, like I said, I came back in here and then I finally laid back down about five o'clock and it's seven o'clock in the morning now. So I'm at, up and at it again. Um, I am experiencing another area of pain here in my arm and I'm not feeling any knots or anything so I'm just not knowing what's going on I did have a test done some years ago and they said that my blood type wasn't a type that would uh, that would be that I would have blood clots so I'm not really worried about that but I am worried about it because it is the unknown that bothers me because um, I'm still having the tingling here now I do know with the tingling it has a lot to do with that pinch, those pinch nerves, nerves, I said it, positive pinch nerves in my back. So, um, so I'm knowing that that's why the tingling is going on. But for the solid pain here and now here, I'm not understanding that. Um, but that's what MS is. It's unpredictable. Uh, it is a, de it is a um, debilitating disease and one minute you're fine the next minute you're not um it's just it's just um it just floors me so i really don't know what's going on guys this is the scary thing it's the unknown with multiple sclerosis you wake up one day and you're feeling fine and then just like that something can happen at the blink of the eye so I'm not quite sure what's going on, but other than that, I do feel good. I don't have a headache this morning, um, but 
I uh, and I'm believe it or not I'm not really tired so I guess me laying down resting helped um, with the situation of me not sleeping at all the night before and then again last night so and I don't know if you guys remember from back when I first started my journey or I start talking more about multiple sclerosis how I was team no sleep and what happens is I go for months and months of no sleep just a couple of hours here and there and then when my body gets really tired I shut down and then all it would take was something like thundering or lightning or the TV goes off or an alarm goes off or somebody rings the doorbell or the cell phone rings and then I'm back up again so the cycle starts all over again and I think that's what I'm going through now I did have a time where when I was being pre-medicated for Kesimpta I started to um, I, I slept because of the the way they did it. I had to take Benadryl, prednisone, and Tylenol, and all that in, at the same time. So it kind of helped me sleep. And then I was having pain in my arm, and they gave me muscle relaxers. So that actually contributed to my sleep. That actually contributed to my sleep. So um, I don't know. It's just, again, the unknown. So... For instance, yesterday, I was feeling really good. I just knew that I was tired and I needed to relax. And that's what I did. So, it's just it just like that it happened. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Going oh my goodness, y'all. Night sweats. Broke out again. Night sweats. <sighs> Porn. And I'm not trying to turn my AC on yet. So, with, all the, with the windows open and the fans blowing. But it's still... I'm having night sweats. Uh, I am... <laughs> I just deal with it. I don't know. It's just part of my life now that I know that... What can I do? I have to make the best of life. And I have to make the best of what I'm doing. So what do I do at this point? It's just continue to eat healthy. Continue to try and move around. And exercise. And it's... it's bothering me that I cannot um, I haven't been able to I can say I won't say cannot I do not want to use that word it's been hard for me to get to the gym or even to go out for a walk so what I have decided to do I am hula hooping so what I've decided to do was to just of course I walk around my house all day and I'm in here cleaning up so uh, cleaning up so I'm getting exercise in but not like I was back two years ago so what I've decided to do is to just start by taking um, the short walks <clears throat> in my community. Just go into the next street, go through the cul-de-sac and come back. And then eventually after I do that for a week, then try to go to the next cul-de-sac um, cul and so on and so forth. Until I can get around my complete subdivision, which is eight miles around. <clears throat> Forgive me. <clears throat> so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, other than that, I think that this day is going to be an awesome day I'm gonna speak that into existence and by the grace of God things are going the way it's supposed to be because you know hey he's you know he is in control of everything and he may it may be something as simple as me needing to slow down and just smell the rose or smell the flowers or slow down and have a cup of tea so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get off and let the rain continue to come in. I have some tea made. I'm going to go drink a cup of tea and meditate. So I hope you guys had a wonderful Wednesday. And I will see you at 7 p.m. when this comes out. And as I always say, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you can be notified of all of my videos when they're uploaded. Share me out because sharing is caring. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? You're going to enjoy Eat to Live Strong and I would love to have you. So please subscribe to the channel. So at the end of the video, I always say to my lovies, God bless you. See you next time. Love you long time. Bye. I have MS, but MS don't have me. I walk the walk and I am blessed. I walk the walk and I am blessed. See you guys on tomorrow, day 123. And that will be Thankful Thursday. Bye.